Well, can the Scots go back to back? Can France respond to the defeat in Marseille? The forwards coach, William Servat, says the French are bitter. That's not going to be any Here's Ben White, now Finn Russell. Sione to a Pelotu. Duhan van der Merwe. Harry Patterson has a board outside. Looks inside. Brilliant. Brilliant. Sensational. Top wow. class. Top drawer. Diamond stunning rugby from Scotland. It is a world class try. That one there, Harry Patterson. What a moment. Steps forward. Goes for the line. Gets his right arm free and from there. Toulouse man's been playing at about half for Toulouse a fair bit this season. And off goes to Thomas Ramos. That's a rock. Slipping away from well, French well, tackles. Well, That'll frustrate Steve Tandy. 58 from 69 was his return. Normally metronomic. Yeah. Bank advantage. Right offside. Advantage. France are offside here. So they've got this free play. They've got some yeah, penalty advantage. extremely powerful runners outside and Tony Tony Tepelotu should they decide to go their way, Finn Russell. Incredible statistic from the game in Cardiff. This obviously a Scottish penalty, but Scotland conceded 14 successive penalties, 16 in all, while losers Wales only conceded four, and none in the second half. They conceded. He was the captain last week. He's co-captain this week with Rory Darge. He's won two from two as captain of the Scotland side, and he's yet to miss a kick. Trying to open up this Scotland defence, there's a chance now wide, and it's going to be a walk-in for Gail Vicker. There was a human missile that came in in the shape of Weenie Antonio. This is the end of it. Man with too much class, too much... Uh, white three it was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's right. well, he's remonstrating, but we, we could see it in real time. With no arms. So the, it, there you go there, leading with the right shoulder. And it's only a yellow on this occasion, but... In the world again the Six Nations, but the game can become an art when that tactic arises. Lugarek, slightly quicker ball. Biel, Biale, is this the chance for France? Biel, Biel. France is that the beginning that he highlights it. He's got no right to score here. Three defenders on him, left pick, chip over the top. Harry Patterson committed in the outside channel. They might just do it here. Oh, is that the sound of deflating bagpipes in Murrayfield? The French are making themselves hurt. Reliable Ramos, reliable again. Fence is good at the moment. Six phases now. Have France held it up on the line? Short, let it oh, it's allowed to come back. Short from Scotland. No, is this it? Nick Berry. Oh, he's almost got his nose in the turf, Nick Berry. We're in the middle of a Hollywood movie here. Blockbuster. I cannot say for certain. I don't have clear enough ball on ground, Nick. OK, so I need to... Because you don't have conclusive evidence, I need to stick with my on field decision. Is that right? Yes. OK. Uh, uh, guys, I want to explain this. One, okay. more, one more angle here. No, I can't see it there. You need to come back to me. OK. Guys, my on field decision was held up, OK, because the ball was on the foot. There, it checked all camera angles. There is no conclusive evidence to say that it was a try. So there are no tries held up, game's over. It's a massively controversial ending to the game. Nick Berry was right on the cusp of changing his decision. It did look from those angles as if the ball had rocked off the leg of the French defender onto the turf. It did look as if the French attack had finally pierced the armour of that French defence, but Brian McNeese, the TMO, he insisted on another look, 
and that look has cost Scotland victory and has guaranteed the French an away win at Murrayfield by that finest, finest of margins, microscopic margin, and France have won by 20 points to 16.